Dustin is a widowed man living alone in his house. One day, the doorbell rang. Dustin went up to open his door, and right there, there she was, his uh -oh. wife. How's it possible? I hope you kept your eyes wide open for this one. Look, there's a photo of Dustin and his wife on the wall. His wife has a birthmark on her cheek. The woman that just appeared doesn't have it, so it must be Dustin's wife's twin sister. Dylan was grounded, and he wasn't allowed to meet even his girlfriend for a week. One evening, when Dylan's mom returned home from work, she found Dylan in his room and asked him if he'd met anyone that day. Dylan said that he'd been at home, studying all day. His mom didn't believe him. Why? Look, there's a lipstick stain on his neck. I'm pretty sure his girlfriend came over for a short visit. Another grounded teenager, Eslin, wasn't allowed to see any of her friends for two weeks after failing her history test. One night, her mother had a night shift and only returned home next afternoon. She came to check on her daughter, and she knew immediately that Eslin had a friend over for a sleepover. How did she figure it out? Examine Eslin's room carefully. Two plates, two cups, two forks. She wasn't the only one eating dinner in her room last night, and she wasn't smart enough to clean up after. Smells like two more weeks to me. Miss Virginia Dell is a rich young lady who had a beautiful and expensive jewelry collection behind a glass in her dressing room. One morning, she found that someone broke the glass and stole her jewelry. Miss Dell's cleaning lady claimed that she had cleaned the room at around 5 a.m. and the jewelry was still there. Virginia's best friend, who was staying in her house that week, said that she had never even walked in the dressing room. Virginia's cousin, who was also staying with her for the holiday, said that she'd walked in the dressing room in the morning but hadn't paid any attention to the jewelry and for sure hadn't stolen anything. Who is the liar? It's the cleaning lady. Seems like right after she broke the glass and stole the jewelry, she wiped off the pieces of glass while cleaning as well because there's no shattered glass on the floor. Okay, here's another task for you to test your observation skills. I'll show you two people and some items. Your task is to guess which person the item belongs to. Let's start off easy. What about this stethoscope? Well, it should definitely belong to this doctor on the right. Two more people. Any guesses who the owner of this bracelet is? The bracelet has a name engraved on it, Sophia. This girl on the left has a name tag with the same name, so it must be her bracelet. Next up, this lipstick. There are two girls who are possible owners, but what's your best guess? Who does it belong to? It must be this girl. Both of them are wearing lipstick but this girl has the exact same shade as the lipstick itself. Earring and two girls again to choose from. Any guesses? It must be this girl. Her ears are pierced and the other girls aren't. The next item is the hair dryer. Who do you think it belongs to? It must be this girl's dryer. She has long hair, and the other guy is bald. Okay, this one is more fun. The next one we have to place is this cute little cat. Who do you think is its owner? See that this girl's legs are a bit scratched? They give her away completely. It's her cat. 
One last item for you to place. This time it's a photograph of the owner in her teenage years with her parents. Who do you think it belongs to? The teen in the photo is a redhead with green eyes. There's just one redhead girl with green eyes, and here she is. It must be her photo. Esme was having a walk in the forest and got lost. She came across a witch's house and asked her to take her home. Five doors appeared. <laughs> only one of them will take you home, and you only have one chance. The right door is black. It's not next to the leftmost or the rightmost door. It's not the door in the middle either. Which door should Esme choose? There are just three black doors, and it's one of them. It's not the door next to the leftmost or the rightmost one, so the fourth door is eliminated. It's not the middle door, so it's out too. Esme should walk out the door on the left. Nico woke up in a dark dungeon without remembering what happened. She looked around and saw a metal door. Unfortunately, it was locked, and it required not just one password, but four. Eiko had only one attempt to make it right. Gladly, next to the door, there was a sign with four words. Apple, bread, chair, and dress. Which word belongs here? Pay attention to the shapes of each password. Some letters are bigger than others, and each word should fit right in. So it should be bread on the top left, apple on the top right, dress on the bottom left, and chair on the bottom right. In a factory, a worker and a half make a chair and a half in one hour and a half. How many chairs does one worker make in one working day, which is six hours? If one and a half workers make one and a half chairs in one and a half hours, it means that one worker makes one chair in the same time, which is one and a half hours. So in a six-hour working day, one worker makes four chairs. It was a lazy day, but as soon as it started raining, a city's police officer got a call. Mr. Jones said that someone had just bumped into his car and drove away. The officer arrived. They found one person nearby fixing his car's tire. Mr. Jones said that it was the gentleman who had bumped into his car. The gentleman said that it couldn't be true, since he had been trying to fix his car for over an hour now and was there the whole time. Who is lying? It's the guy fixing his car. The rain just recently started. If he'd been fixing his car the whole time, the ground underneath his car would be dry. But it's wet, which means his car broke down just recently probably when he was driving away after the accident. A crew of pirates arrived at a deserted island in the Caribbeans at night. In the early morning, the captain went ashore to find his secret stash with all the treasures hidden in it. But when he reached it, the treasures weren't there. Someone from his crew had gone ashore earlier and stolen all of it. There were three suspects, Bill, first mate, Gil, Bosun, and Will, Cook. All of them denied stealing anything, but the captain knew who was lying. Who? There are footprints on the shore from earlier that don't belong to the captain. One is a footprint, but the other one is a hole from a stick. The robber must be Gil, the bosun, because he is the only one with a wooden leg. Let's start with training your eyes a bit. Can you find an odd one out here? Yes, that's the one! Another one for you. Look carefully, and you only have several seconds to find the imposter. That's the one! Correct! Now the game is getting a bit harder, but I know you've got it. What do you say? Here it is! Did you find it? 
Okay, last one of these, the hardest one. Do you see the odd one out this time? There it is! Great job! That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side. Vicky is having a reality show audition today. Action. But first, she needs to fix her car quickly to get there. Three mechanics offer their help, but two of them are fake. Can you spot who exactly? The first person is wearing an expensive watch. It's too risky to wear them while working. And the third person's nails are way too long for this job. Mm. So Vicky should choose the second guy. Hello. Vicky has just had an amazing audition. Yeah. The manager says, and finally, one last question. Can you spot the exact center of this table? How should Vicky answer this question? Oh. Vicky should put her finger confidently at the supposed center of the table and say, this is the center point. Afterwards, the manager may ask, hmm, how do you know if this is the exact center? In this case, Vicky can reply, your last question was the previous one, so I don't have to answer further. <laughs> the manager just wanted to check how attentive Vicky is. The reality show takes place on an island. Vicky gets her first task. She needs to find a village with other contestants using this map. Vicky has to enter the maze at the left bottom and leave it through the exit point. There are two rules. She can go through one circle more than once, and she can move only by exchanging green and yellow circles. Can you help Vicky out? Here's the right way out. Vicky breaks through the maze and finds herself in a creepy room. The door behind her slams shut. To move on to the next level of the game, Vicky has to unlock this door. Can you help her crack this seven-digit code? There's an inscription on the door which says, the seven C's. Vicky should try to think literally and enter seven C's. Vicky opens the door and continues her journey. There are three ways to reach the village, oh. but each path is hiding some danger. There's a creepy mummy hiding in the forest on the first path. The second path leads through a castle of a spooky vampire. And there's a hungry zombie waiting on the third road. Can you help Vicky choose the safest option? She should take the second path. The sun is shining, which means the vampire is sleeping. Finally, Vicky reaches the village, and here's her next task. Vicky and Nikki must hang on this beam for five minutes. Huh? Vicky has a fire under her legs, while Nikki has metal spikes that are moving randomly underneath him. Can you predict who's more likely to win? Vicky, take a closer look at the fire. There's a kerosene barrel under her feet, so the fire will go out in 20 seconds. To find treasures, Vicky has to unlock the final door. She needs to push one of these four buttons, but she only has one chance. What would you suggest? Vicky has to choose the red button. The symbols on the door are hints. Each of the four products can be red colored. After all the adventures, Vicky is finally having lunch. Can you spot anything odd here? Hello! Vicky gets a bed in a dormitory room. Oh, yeah. She will share it with four other contestants. Vicky drops her backpack on the bed and goes to the toilet. In a few minutes, she returns and finds out that someone had stolen her phone. Vicky questions all her roommates. Sam says, I had a meeting in the lobby. My friend can confirm that. Fiona says, I was washing my hair in the shower, so I didn't see or hear anything. Diana says, I spent the last 20 minutes at the laundromat. I came back just now. And Mia says, Sorry, I was doing exercises on the balcony, so I didn't watch your stuff. Who's lying?
Fiona. She said she had just washed her hair, but her curls are dry. The Greens housemaid Stacy forgets to close the window at night. In the morning, she finds out that some valuables had been stolen. Stacy calls the police. The detective checks the crime scene and puts together a list of all stolen items. Take a look at the picture. Can you tell what was stolen? The candlestick, music box, and vase. The detective interviews the Green's neighbors. He asks, did you see anything suspicious last night? Maya replies, yes, I saw a man in a black hat. Hmm. Peter says, I saw a suspicious woman with a big box by the Green's house. Hmm. Liam says, I saw someone dressed as a dragon and another guy with a hiking backpack. And Will says, I saw a strange masked man near the house 20 minutes after the Greens went to bed. Hmm. Who seems suspicious? Will, how did he know when the family went to bed? Bob's parents are going on vacation for two weeks and leave him alone. Yeah. His father says, Bobby, be very careful. No parties at home. But Bob throws parties almost every night. One night, his friends notice a car and yell, Looks like your dad's car is here, bro! Oh, no. All the guests clean up the mess as quickly as they can and hide. Parents arrive early and realize that Bob had a party. <sighs> How? There are four joysticks and a pizza slice under the sofa. Spelled forwards, it's what you do every day. Spelled backwards, it's something you hate. Can you guess this word? The correct answer is live. This is Mary. All her hats are white except two. Also, all her hats are red except two. And all her hats are black except two. How many hats does Mary have? Just three, one of each color. Kate enters the local supermarket to get some fruits. There's an intelligent glass pane installed in the fridge. This glass pane allows cherries and apples to pass through. At the same time, it keeps grapes and melons inside. Can you figure out which rule the glass pane is following? The glass pane only allows the fruits with double letters in their names to pass through. Can you spot anything odd in this picture? Too cool for winter. Kelly visits her bestie, Sarah, but Sarah is crying. <laughs> Kelly asks, what happened? Huh? Sarah doesn't say anything. She just shows Kelly a phone chat with her boyfriend. Can you tell what made Sarah so upset? He lied to Sarah about his dog's illness to hang out elsewhere. Take a look at the reflection in his sunglasses. Seems like he's chilling at the beach. Billy enters a dining room. Right away, he spots that someone had prepared a prank. What about you? Oh. This chair only has three legs. Lily gets a job as a flight attendant. This is her first flight from Hawaii to Mexico City. She's greeting the guests in the aircraft, but three passengers on the flight are not humans. Can you spot who? Uh? This lady doesn't cast a shadow, therefore she's not a real human. And this one is dressed up too warmly for the hot weather. The guy over here is drinking a weird green liquid with bugs, which is kind of cringy for real human beings. Jill is walking in the park. Suddenly, a street dealer in a mask offers her an original golden watch for $20. Jill agrees, pays, and puts it on right away. Oh, yes. Soon, three people approach Jill to claim the watch. Mike says, this watch has belonged to my family for ages. I lost it near the ice cream van. Sheila says, someone stole my golden watch today. I was sitting on a ladder and fell asleep for a while. When I woke up, the watch was gone. Stefan says, I also lost my watch today. I think I dropped it on the third floor of this coffee shop. 
Can you help Jill return the watch to its actual owner? The coffee shop doesn't have the third floor, and Mike's hand tattoo is identical to the dealer's, so it's the same person. Oh. So the watch belongs to Sheila. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.